What internet marketing expert should you spend your valuable time listening to? Listen to someone who has over 20 years of web marketing experience and hundreds of website marketing success stories. That man is Aaron Sparks from Site Strategics. And this is Edge of the Web Radio. showcase one of our fantastic clients at Site Strategics. We're celebrating our 100th episode, as we talked about, and 10 years in business. And we are going to be talking to a number of different companies over the over the next few weeks and months here. One of our comprehensive web branding campaigns we have been managing for the last few years is Stoops Freightliner here in Indiana and Dayton, Ohio. We manage their website design, web content, social media, their bi-monthly newsletter marketing, and a robust multi-state Google pay-per-click service. Joining us on the phone is the Stoops Freightliner Marketing Director, Dale Spence. Dale, thank you so much for taking the time to be on the show today. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure to be a part of the 100th episode, so I <laughs> really enjoyed the intro music. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder where that came from. <laughs> we got we got some we got some fat drop hip uh well, oh, boy, just, <laughs> that just, sounded just so uncool. <laughs> <laughs> Fat drop hip. Oh yeah. man, I'm, we're, we're dropping some. Oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just stop. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that, thanks for joining us. Hey, why don't you give us uh, our listeners a little background on how Stoops, now truck company, company, how you guys serve the trucking industry and where it started and, and where your company is today? Well, the founder of our company, Jeff Stoops, started Stoops a little over. 25 years ago, and it has expanded into a dealership with now eight locations, and like you said, in Indiana and Ohio, uh, we do equipment sales for a number of brands, mm-hmm. uh, Freightliner, Fuso, Western Star, uh, you know, we do service for the trucks, we do parts, we do um, trailer repair, we do um, trailer sales as well. Uh, it's grown into a really large company, over 600 employees, like I said, in two different states, wow. and yeah, it's been a, you know, one of the biggest um, Freightliner dealerships in the country now with their affiliation with uh, Truck Country. Oh, very cool. Uh, before you before we started managing your Google Paid ads, uh, you had a national pay-per-click agency handling that, right? Yes, we did. I'm pretty sure you don't want me to mention their no, name. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how was the performance, the long-term difference in the performance that you've seen since Site Strategics actually took over the weekly management of that? Well, our web traffic has grown I don't want to say exponentially, but it's grown at a very high rate since we've uh, contracted you guys to work with us. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that one of the key differences in between your approach and the company we were using before was that they more or less had templates set up that were based on types of industry, and then they try to fit you into that template. Right. And with Site Strategics, you know, basically you guys came in. I mean. Obviously, you did your due diligence before we met. You looked at the website, you looked at the products, their um, their AORs, areas of responsibility, and you had some ideas on what you wanted to do, but you didn't have, you weren't trying to fit like a square peg into a round hole. Mm-hmm. And we basically built it from the ground up, you know, my input, the input from you guys, and really it's a customized approach to how we are getting our website out into the um out on google searches being in yahoo and i think it's really helped to grow the web traffic fantastic and that's the only really the only way to do this the right way is to you have to have it customized you have to actually pay attention to what's coming into especially the paid mm-hmm. side of things oh, yeah. we are constantly filtering negative traffic meaning the, the things that we don't want your ad to show up on and that's a matur- maturation over a period of time that keeps on going and uh, you just can't set it and forget it and that's what so many of these online marketing companies do is they'll set it up and then try to reap the rewards of what they set up a long time ago and you you have to constantly scrutinize that so i appreciate the compliment there you know there's an important factor here too yep. for listeners and as well and that's this you're not talking to a technology company. You're not talking to a, a media company. Mm-hmm. You're talking to a traditional, a traditional service and sales company mm-hmm. um, that that is seeing you know that demand for their for their products and services turn online. That's right. And I think that's a you know 600 employees. That's a that's a really important factor here for listeners to hear. And that's that you know the the consumer ed- the consumer behavior is changing now. And that's the people are turning to the web you know, to research their next purchase and buy their next purchase, regardless of your industry, regardless of, you know, of whether you're, uh, 
you know, whether you're building homes or, mm -hmm. you know, real estate, well, obviously real estate's huge online, but, sure. but anything, anything people are going online. I was looking the other day at handmade leather, uh, wallet, you know, a guy had, a guy had his, has his own little craft shop and he's selling them online, you know, and, uh, it's so important for people to understand that, that if you're not online, you're, you're, you have a huge gap that you're just letting fall off of your sales. That's right. That's right. Um, can you tell us a little bit, Dale, about uh, some of the, 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 the tracking in, into the sales conversion, how we were able to help you through some major transition of your company uh, that you, yeah, you guys are going through uh, helping implement, implementing the Salesforce software? Well, when we, um, when we first launched Salesforce, mm -hmm. you know, part of the goal was to measure ROI with our marketing campaigns. I mean, obviously, that's just a piece of it. You, know, mm -hmm. you want to increase the effectiveness of the sales force. You want to make sure that opportunities are being tracked. You want to make sure that, you know, you are following up with customers in a timely fashion and different things like that. But yep. in the marketing ROI piece of it, what we were able to do was incorporate our web searches, our pay-per-click program, uh, and work those in through Salesforce so that, we, so that we now can see, okay, this lead came through a site strategics pay-per-click program. Yep went to a salesperson, salesperson walked it through the sales cycle, and this either was a conversion into a sale or it's somebody that, you know, we were able to later get into the net and sell them either, you know, parts, service, trucks, yeah. trailers, whatever. And before, when things were coming in, you couldn't really do that. You just sort of had to, you know, more or less take an educated guess on what the conversion rates were and what the ROI on mm -hmm. certain programs was. And with Combining Salesforce with the pay-per-click programs, that's really taken a lot of the conjecture out of it. We now actually know what we're getting in return for what we're spending. Yeah, absolutely. And we want to give a shout out to that that uh, uh, company as well that you're working with that we give high high accreditation to. That's Right On Interactive, and they're a great, uh, they're an essential piece in in that that life cycle marketing that you guys hey, are doing. I know those guys. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. That yeah, is. and I I was going to mention that too. Um, one of the strengths of Site Strategics is that you guys, you know, you're very proud of what you do, but you obviously have enough confidence in yourselves that you're able to reach out and you're able to take advice from other companies as well. And, you know, I think that Salesforce was a perfect example. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, you were able to work with ROI and there was a collaboration between three different companies, which is not really, really very easy to do. And we were able to work together and to build this the program, you know, along with their email marketing mm -hmm. and with the Salesforce. And, you know, and that, that's, a, that's a credit to Aaron and Site Strategics oh, and Aaron's sure. leadership on how you were able to help navigate that and help make that happen. We play well with others. Thank you very much. <laughs> you do. <laughs> and we, and we, and, do. And, but we also... Take, a, take the compliments. Oh, fine. Thank you. You do. <laughs> you do. I mean, I, I think it's it's been a pleasure. I mean, how long have we known each other now? Too long, Doug. It, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, I was going to say not long enough. But, <laughs> <laughs> but no, you you really do. I mean, I think Thank the 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 thoughtfulness that you put into talking about your clients and seeking advice from you know other sources, you're you're tapped into the web on you know from all the expertise. It's it's a uh, it's a credit to why your agency has grown so strong. You're getting me choked up. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, uh, one quick thing, D uh, Dale, uh, and something that might want to convey to other business owners or marketing directors like yourself, f they have fear and maybe constant frustrations when it comes down to dealing with web design and web marketing firms, you know, from professional communication, execution of your requests, and, you know, you've got pressing deadlines on a regular basis. How does our team compete with other web teams that you've dealt with? I, mean, I, I wouldn't put anyone above you guys on how on the responsiveness, responsiveness and Except for that one attention time. to detail on these <laughs> tasks. I mean, we have a pretty solid system worked out where my requests are submitted, you guys act on them, and I'm updated as they are worked through the process. And, you know, obviously there's hiccups here and there, but, you know, we do have quite a few requests, so that's just understandable. But I can say that anything that we've had to have done that was an urgent issue or something that had to be taken care of immediately. I mean, you guys have reacted and really stepped up and taken care of it. And it's been a tremendous help to me. Oh, thank that, 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 
is it right there. That's I truly appreciate that because a lot of times anybody can talk to talk, but if you actually get in, and, and so much of this is communication, and I always want to improve that with, with every relationship we have, and I appreciate you saying that. Thanks so much for being here, Dale. I appreciate you taking the time. As, as Stoops Freightliner is a slight strategic web marketing success snapshot. This week on Edge of the Web, thank you so much for, for just being here and giving us a little bit of praise there. I do appreciate it. Oh, absolutely. Anytime. And okay, it's plug time. So for new and used semi trucks, compressed gas, natural uh, gas, uh, natural gas conversions, new and used trailers, uh, a nationally recognized service department, and trucks and for truck parts and and all things trucks. I mean, honestly, go to stoops.com stoops.com and check them out online just don't click on their ad space go straight there because <laughs> we're paying for that <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> thanks again dale and we'll, we'll talk to you real soon all right gentlemen thank you okay uh, just-